Hey there, it's Travis. I was recently in a situation where I needed to analyze over 600 startups. I thought it would be interesting to understand A16Z's portfolio in its entirety, and I wanted to create a lean canvas, which is a good summary of a startup or a company, for each startup in their portfolio. The problem is that it takes me five or 10 hours to create a lean canvas per startup, and so this was gonna to be too much effort, and this is why I created an open source tool called Framesmith that takes raw information on a company and converts it into a lean canvas in several minutes using AI. So the idea is that you find high quality information about your startup or company. This could be public information on the internet that you scrape, or it could be private information like pitch decks that you have and you feed it through this tool and the AI asks a question for each section of the lean canvas and automates the generation of a lean canvas. So I think this would be a helpful tool for venture capitalists, people who need to understand companies and maybe entire portfolios of other venture capital firms, and also anyone else who performs any other type of company research. I know as a UX researcher, I created a lot of lean canvases. This is how I would start each product. I assume for market researchers as well, this would be a helpful tool. It's also good because if a lean canvas doesn't fit your needs, you can define any framework that you want. So maybe you have a secret formula for how you like to understand a company. You can actually define it with this Framesmith tool. So Framesmith is open source. I put the GitHub link in the description below. And if you're interested in that, you can install it and run it on your machine. So once you've cloned Framesmith from GitHub, you now have it on your machine. And this is kind of what it will look like and how you might use it. So there's a config.json file in the repository. And there are fields that you can change within this file. So you would change the product to whatever product or company you're analyzing. In this case, we'll look at Asimov, which is a biotechnology startup that A16Z invested in. And then you can choose which AI is going to do the data processing for you. You have GPT 3.5 Turbo, or you can use GPT 4, of course. Then you load in the sources that you want the AI to ask questions of. This is the knowledge base of the company that you want to analyze. In this case, I'm only scraping public data from the internet. So I have six blog posts, a A16Z blog post, five blog posts from Asimov, and actually then a TechCrunch news article. So these are seven website URLs that are going to have text on them that we will scrape. And then there's YouTube URLs. So you can scrape the transcripts from the YouTube API and create a knowledge base from YouTube. Then you have a prompt template. You can change this. This is giving the AI context into what you're trying to do. And you can prompt engineer this, whatever suits your needs. And then finally, you have the framework questions down here. Now, Framesmith comes pre-configured to generate a lean canvas. So each of these questions is required to fill in each section of the lean canvas. So for example, a target user, like who is Asimov intended for? These groups of people are called target users. Target users are people who have either already adopted Asimov or who Asimov is intended for. A bit redundant, but this question in its entirety helps the AI go and find the relevant information in the knowledge base needed in order to answer this section of the lean canvas. The cool thing about Framesmith is that you can change these questions to define any framework that you want. So if a lean canvas doesn't serve your needs, then maybe you have some other formula for how you want to analyze a product or company, and this is where you would change that. Now to quickly show you how it works, you have to be a bit familiar with the command line interface, but this is something that you can learn in 30 minutes. So once you've changed the config.json file to how you need it, you make sure to save it and then run this command in your terminal. What we're doing is we're using Python 3 to run the generate.py script. Now it'll take several minutes for the entire lean canvas to generate. 
the AI goes through and asks each question of your framework of the knowledge base that you created. Some progress indicators are going to start getting printed to the screen now. We have data sources loaded. This means the data has been scraped from the internet, splitting articles into 1000 character chunks, embedding the article, some technical stuff you don't need to worry about. And then we have a progress indicator for every section of the Lean Canvas that has been answered. Great, so it's just finished running and the .csv file is put into this framework folder up here. So let me copy the file name and open it on the computer. So this is the CSV output. It will open in whatever spreadsheet software you have installed on your computer. For me, it's numbers. For Microsoft, it would probably be Excel. And there's a row for every section of the Lean Canvas. So I just wanted to scroll through this to show you the level of detail that is generated from this bot. Now you can change the sources to fit any data source that you need. Maybe you have private information that is stored on a cloud provider, or you have a PowerPoint pitch deck from a startup that is soliciting an investment from you. So you can load this private information in. There's over 100 plus data loaders, and you would need to do some trivial reconfiguration to Framesmith in order to get it into this format. So I hope you get use out of it, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.